retreating, we're retreating. You're probably wondering, what am I, ITV News' Wales reporter, doing wielding a sword and facing off against an army of the undead? Well, the story begins in the not-too-distant past in rural Germany. I've been sent here to get to the bottom of the explosive growth of one of the world's most misunderstood subcultures. Live action role play, better known as LARP. With around 10,000 participants, this is the largest event of its kind in the world. Everyone is here to immerse themselves in this mythical world, from bards to blacksmiths, even market traders. Everyone has their own unique character. I've arrived here at Conquest of Mythodia, and it really is like walking into a different world. There are some things I recognise, like some suits of armour here, but apart from that, frankly, I have no idea what a lot of this stuff is. But I'm hoping I'm going to find out. Luckily for me, the event has put on a workshop for newbies like myself to help us get up to speed. A year ago, we struck a great blow against the heart We're just of getting a briefing about the history of Mythodia and, and the story the around it. Beaten back. You have fought in every corner of Mythodia against his armies to thwart his foul plans and bring his coming to a halt. With the rain bringing the workshop to an early end, I caught up with Lesser in his tent. Hi, I'm Rhys. Hi, I'm Lesser. Good to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have you a seat. Thank you very much. So I'm hoping you can tell me all about LARP. So let's start at the beginning. Yeah. What is LARP? What does it stand for? LARP is an acronym for Live Action Roleplay. Mm -hmm. uh, and the live action part is because we use our living bodies and uh, do actions with each other. And the role-playing bit is because uh, we have roles. We are not our usual selves. I would explain it as uh, improvised total theatre. Because there is no script, there are no lines to know. Uh, it is just to try to become your character, to immerse yourself. Finding people who are nice to play with can be a good way of, I don't know, building a tribe of uh, equal-minded people. And especially when it's from all around the world, like this particular event. It is very interesting to see how we resemble each other as actors and lappers and uh, dreamers and how we differ culturally. I find that immensely interesting. Mm. Once the game officially begins tomorrow evening, the immersion is total and most people will remain in character for the next four days. For now, while people are not in character, I took the chance to gather together some experienced LARPers to find out what it is that keeps them coming back. We have some mead. Exactly. So, I'm really interested in why you do this. It's just fun getting in character, dressing up and, like, chasing each other around the field. The biggest part of LARP for me is like, creative and the dressing up in okay. costumes. You have a void of technology. There's no cell phones, there's no music. So yes. if you want to have music in your tent at night, someone's going to play. The space allows people to step up and express their creativity. Have you always been confident people? Because I think a lot of people watching this would think, oh my gosh, the thought of acting for a day or two or three there's days. A, there's, a, there's a really, really, really dark, tiny secret. We're not. Nobody is. <laughs> no. Nobody is. Seriously. There are no spectators. Everyone here is just as stupid as you. Just as involved. Exactly the <laughs> just as involved. Just as dirty and geeky. Yeah. Doing exactly the same thing. Yeah. And there's no video evidence on cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for telling me all about LARP. I feel like I understand it a lot better now. And it sounds like the party's getting started. So, cheers. 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 <laughs> Unlike historical reenactment, a LARPing event doesn't follow a script. What happens largely depends on the imagination of the players. But there is a vast team working behind the scenes to bring this event to life. So, Yep, you are responsible for what? 
Uh, my main responsibility is I am uh, the lead coordinator for the NPC army, which is around 1,500 people that we coordinate on this battlefield, both story and crowd control wise, to make the most interesting battles in Europe. So these are the non player characters. These are the non-player characters that support the players with the plots and give information, story uh, and help guiding the play from their side. One of the challenges must be making sure that the newbies like me can have fun and feel part of it, but the people who've been coming here for maybe decades are also having a good time. Yeah, everyone here comes from different experiences and that's okay. Obviously, if you, uh, if you get uh, in a duel with one of the people that uh, leads an entire army, you will probably get your ass kicked, uh, <laughs> but you want to create uh, moments of heroism uh, and Hollywood for everyone. And yeah. if you want to challenge the biggest guy out there, go for it. As the sun began to set on my second day, the game officially began. From now on, everyone was in character. It was time for me to put on my costume and prepare for battle. I'd been warned that there were no spectators in this game, and so to be able to film it, I would have to stay in character. I'm with my team now, and we're heading towards what looks like a pretty ferocious battle. Keep your eye on the guy for the arrows. Watch out for arrows, thank you, I will. I didn't think I would be intimidated, I'm scared. Everyone has bigger swords than me and shields. Oh, he's got me! Oh no! Right in the chest. It was at this point that I realised just how immersive this experience really was. Before I knew it. I was being dragged across the battlefield by someone I'd never met. What happened? To people acting as healers who set about patching me up. Okay, you hold that one. Ow. Look at the clouds. Okay. Nice and beautiful clouds. Right. It doesn't look like anything is, is broken. No, just, a, fine. just a flesh just wound. Just a flesh wound, right. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. There are thousands of us on the battlefield, with players taking on the roles of everything from archers to Viking warriors, even medieval news reporters. No expense is spared on weapons or costumes in the quest for a Hollywood moment. Wow. So there's lightning, there's thunder. Feels like a real medieval battle right now. There you go. With the battle over, everyone descended on the taverns to share war stories. All, of course, while still in character. I must admit, I was a bit apprehensive before I arrived here, but having been welcomed into the camp, uh, it's been a really incredible experience. And the one thing that's really stood out to me is the sense of community, uh, a sense of people coming together from all over the world, different cultures, backgrounds, and experimenting together by being different characters. It's been uh, quite an incredible week. Good luck, soldiers. Yes.